Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson uh, 17 of the Autodesk Maya 2017 training series. So today we're going to look at lights and lights is uh, located under rendering right here. So let's see the types of lights that we can use. So in order to use lights, what I can do is uh, I'm going to grab a surface just like this so that you can see the difference and also a spear maybe. All right, there you go. So that's how you actually turn on the lights. So I'm going to press seven to turn on the light mode. You can see that everything is black and now I can actually uh, change the lights. So in order to change the lights, I'm going to go to rendering and I'm going to select my first light over here. Once I click it, you can see that this is an omni light. And Omni light is something that illuminates everything at round go. So there is nothing. So this is actually good for a flat type of animation, which I don't prefer much anyways. So this is Omni light. So on the Omni light there, you can see that you can turn on the shadows. All right. So the shadows don't actually work over here. And you can change the color of the light from the side. So you can select any color that you want. Just select like this and you can see that the color changes right here. You can increase and decrease the intensity of the light. So this is more of a like uh, uh, Omni light is like it illuminates everything and gives it a flat shape. So if you want a flat animation, that's it. Uh, the second one is the directional light. This is actually this actually simulates the daytime light. So if I were to rotate the light, you can see that this actually simulates the sunlight, which is a directional light. So I can expand this as well, but that does not affect the intensity. I can increase and decrease the intensity of the light, change the color of the light as the other light as well. So I'm just going to select the color of the light and I'm going to uh, just rotate this out. And once I select the light, you actually notice that there are no shadows over here. So you can turn on the shadows, so you can go onto the shadow menu right there and turn on depth map shadows. But you cannot still see the shadows because I haven't uh, go on to the lighting and I have to uh, select shadows right there. Now you can see the shadow right there. So you can see that the shadow looks quite neat. So you can see that the shadow is jagged. Okay, so you can see if we were to zoom in, the shadow is not very clear. But if you increase the resolution of the shadow, it actually becomes clear. So the resolution of the shadows are independent of the objects. So you can increase the filter size as well to make them more soft. You can increase the biasness in order to change the shadows and you can shadow uh, change the resolution just like that to get a softer type of an output. So if you were to duplicate this, you can even get multiple shadows for an indoor lighting light situation like this. So you can see that you can create a very interesting lighting effect just like this by using directional lights. All right, so that is directional light. Let's see what this light does. This is like an omni light, but it actually simulates an indoor light so this is actually for a bulk type of lighting. Let me see that it has shadows. So it also has shadows, but it does not show it right here. So I actually have to render it in order to see it. So let's render that out and you can see the shadows right here. Some of the lights don't work properly on the main view. So you have to render it out. So let me just delete this out as well. And then this is the area light. So area light is more like a window light. So these are more soft kind of a light. All right, so you can see the shadow is there as well. So if you were to increase the size of the area light, actually the intensity increases as well, uh, unlike the directional light over there. So finally, we have the uh, this light. This is a volume light. So if I were to pull this out, you can see that this is another sort of an indoor light. So you can um go to shadows over here you can use the depth map shadow it does not actually show anything over here but if you were to render it this is actually for other renderers if you have like Arnold render or so forth then you can use this but usually this is not a common light that i want to use usually i use the directional light area light and the omni light the other interesting one is the cone light all right uh, i missed that one so the cone light is actually for stays like show. So you can increase the intensity of the cone light. There's also cone angle, as you can see right there. So this is the cone angle, penumbra angle right there for softness of the light, for more realistic effect right there. You can use increase and decrease the drop off. And even the decay, if you have a linear decay, you can see that the light actually gets dimmer the farther it goes. So if I were to drag this down, let's say select this out just like this and then drag this out, go to object mode, select this down. 
you can see that if I were to rotate this, it actually is dimmer at the end. So if I were to select no decay, the intensity remains same. Linear decay gets bigger. Quadric, original type of decay that we have in real life and cubic is further uh, faster decay. So it's up to you what you want to use. Usually I like using linear. So you can create multiple um, copies of the lights as well for an interesting effect just like that. All right. So uh, you can see that there are a lot of type of lights over there. So let me just delete these lights as well. So uh, deleted those. And then uh, even in directional light, okay, directional light is usually for outdoor situation and most commonly used. And you can use multiple type of lights all together as well. So if I want to use multiple type of lights together, you're, you're allowed to do that as well. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment,